Ha 
that you may praise your purity and listen to your holy scriptures, to you be glory forever. Amen. Raise your voices, be joyful, O Jerusalem, give praise, for your King humbly enters, listen and accept the truth. Zion sing hymns of glory, O Jerusalem, give praise, for your gates have been strengthened, listen and accept the truth. Lord our God, you accepted what the just had offered you. Now accept in your mercy of your sacrifice and grace. The reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Father, give you a blessing. Glory to the Lord of all and the apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the reader and the listeners and upon this parish and her children forever. Brother and sisters, now, however, I am going to Jerusalem to minister to the Holy Ones, for Macedonia and Achaia have decided to make some contribution for the poor among the Holy Ones in Jerusalem. They decided to do it, and in fact, they are indebted to them. For if the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual blessings, they ought also to serve them in material blessings. So when I have completed this and safely handed over this contribution to them, I shall set out by way of you to Spain. And I know that's coming to you, and I shall come in the fullness of Christ's blessing. I urge you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to join me in this struggle by your prayers to God, on my behalf, that I may be delivered from the disobedient in Genoa, and that my ministry for Jerusalem may be acceptable to the Holy Ones, so that I may come to you with joy by the will of God, and be refreshed together with you. The God of peace be with all of you. Amen. Praise be to God always. Alleluia, alleluia. From the mouth of infants and children, we have passion praise. Alleluia. Peace be with you and with your spirit from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John, who proclaimed light to the world. Let us listen to the proclamation of light and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. The Apostle John writes, the Pharisees heard the crowd murmuring about him to this effect, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent guards to arrest him. So Jesus said, I will be with you only a little while longer, and then when I will go to the one who sent me, you will look for me, but not find me, and where I am, you cannot come. So the Jews said to one another, Where is he going? that we will not find him. Sure, he is not going to dispersion among the Greeks to teach the Greeks, is he? What is the meaning of his saying? You will look for me and not find me, and where I am, you cannot come. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Praise and blessing to Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, for giving us his word of life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we read in the Gospel today the words of Jesus. I will be with you a little while longer, and then I am going to him who sent me. You will search for me, but you will not find me. And where I am, you cannot come. For the unbelievers, these words were like a prophecy. A prophecy fulfilled when they found an empty tomb after the day of the resurrection. A prophecy
prophecy that invites them to have faith in Christ. For those who did not believe in Jesus with all of their hearts, it is like a challenge, an obstacle to overcome, also an invitation to perfect that faith. As for us, it is a teaching from the highest importance. Is there anyone among us who can pretend that he or she never lost Jesus? Never felt alone and screamed with the crucified, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This is a teaching of faith. Jesus is telling us that even though we might experience such hardships, even if we might not notice the presence of God in our lives, even if it seems to us that we are alone, even if we are experiencing a dark night, as St. John of the Cross might say, even if we are not feeling any kind of spiritual consolation, during our prayers. Jesus is teaching us to have faith that He is here. For with our faith alone, we can find Him. We can be aware that we never even lost Him. We can then firmly believe, despite all of our faculties, and through faith alone, we could even go beyond that. So let us continue today our prayers, asking the Lord to give us the grace of faith, so that we let Him draw us nearer and nearer to Him, the eternal source of true life, to whom be glorified with His Father and Holy Spirit till the end of times. Amen. We believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born from the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Ethan Wolf, Mother Pahenda, Lo, Ho, Al, Wot, Al, Ho, Dam, Chad, Et, Al, Yud. When, O, Su, O, Tai, O, To, E, O, Lin, Blay, To, Ho, Su, De, Bray, Klo, Ho, Sho. Dar, To, Mor, Yo, Da, Bar, E, O, Sa, Di, Ko, To, Ha, Li, Fa, I, Almighty Lord and God, 
You accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and his plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, Saint Maron, Saint George, Saint Sherbel, Saint Rafa, Saint Anantalla, and Blessed Stefan. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom the sacrifice is offered, the parishioners of St. George and their intentions. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Alleluia. Honor Mary, Mother of our Lord and God, and with her remember all the righteous ones, prophets and apostles, martyrs and the priests, and the children of the Church from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. O Father, God of peace and Lord of security, make us worthy to embrace one another with a sincere kiss in the spirit of your unending love, that you may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, O altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, my brother priests. Peace to you, server of the Holy Spirit. Peace, love, and faith, brothers and sisters, from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. And may the God of peace be with us. Amen. O Lord, we bow before you to receive your blessings and assistance, for we are weak and you are the support and refuge of all. We raise glory to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O Lord, may the light of your face shine upon us, deliver us from every evil, and blot out all our transgressions, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father, and the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence, and worship Him with humility. It is right and just, truly it is right and just, to glorify and exalt you, a member of all creation. With the angels we glorify you, and with voices of praise, we cry out and proclaim, Holy, 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 Mighty Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come and will come in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God the Father, and abundant in mercy. Because of your love for us, you sent your Son into the world, and he became the flesh of the Virgin Mary for our salvation. وبيعوموا حولك دوم حاشو ديلة ما بتحاية زاب اللحم بدال قادشوتو بارخ قادش وصويا بنت الميدال كدوها سابخو الملك القوم هونو دليتا فغرو Sail, Mentee, Hosoyot, Hope, what high, 
of them saying, Each time you celebrate these mysteries, you remember my death and resurrection until I come again. We, we remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, we remember your coming that saved us. And as we await your second coming, we offer you praise and ask you, on the day when you will judge the righteous and sinners, do not condemn us because of our sins, but have compassion and mercy on us. Turn your face away from our sins and assist us, for this your church implores you, and through you and with you implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, O Almighty Father, have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we profess our faith in you, and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God, have mercy on us, and hear us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Hear us, O Lord, hear us, O Lord, hear us, O Lord. And may your living Holy Spirit come and rest upon us and not upon this offering. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That by his descent he may make this bread, the body of Christ our God. Amen. And make the mixture of this chalice, the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May those who share in these mysteries be cleansed, body and soul, from every sin and receive eternal life. Amen. Amen. O Lord, accept our intercessions and the prayers, and the grant security to your people, and peace to your flock. Protect our shepherds, Francis the Pope of Rome, Pshara Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Elias, our Bishop, assist the priests, the deacons, and all those who serve your Holy Church, so that they may intercede and pray to you on our behalf. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those who have asked us to pray for them, those who desired but were unable to make an offering, and those who assist your holy church. Be a shelter and refuge for them, for you are the Savior of all. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the civil leaders in our country and throughout the world. Enlighten their consciences to bring security and peace to your people. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and confessors, Saint Mary, Saint George, Saint Raphael, Saint Nantalba, and all the saints, assist us through their prayers and make us worthy of their reward. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, the righteous fathers and teachers who have gone to their rest among the saints. Remember those who diligently carry our gospel, your gospel throughout the whole world, and confirm your holy church in the true faith. Assist us through their prayers, and strengthen us in your love. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Favorably remember, O Lord, our parents, brothers and sisters, teachers, and all the faithful departed here and everywhere, who have gone to their rest. Forgive us and forgive them of all sins and offenses through our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who is without, without sin. We hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant us, O God, to the departed, and forgive the sins we have committed, with or without full knowledge. Grant us pardon, O God, and forgive us and the departed, so that your blessed name may be glorified in us and in all things. To the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your living Holy Spirit, now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You have united, O Lord, your divinity with our humanity, and our humanity with your divinity, your life with our mortality, and our mortality with your life. You have assumed what is ours, and you have given us what is yours for the life and salvation of our souls. To you, O glory forever. O Lord, 
You are the pleasing oblation who offered yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the High Priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy may our prayers rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. O God the Father, you strengthen and encourage us, for we are weak. We implore you to purify us from every sin and to accept our offering, so that in one spirit we may call upon you, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, lead us not into the trials of temptation, that we do not have the strength to overcome. But deliver us from every evil, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours with your only Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. O Lord, bless your worshipers who bow before you and implore you. Make them worthy of your mercy and forgive their sins, for you are almighty and rich in compassion. We raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. That each one of us look to God with reverence and humility, and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One, one Holy Father, one Holy Son, one Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth. To him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, so that our bodies may be sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are a present in the most of the holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, a compassionate and merciful one. O Lord of all people, have mercy on us. We thank you, O Father, for this gift that you have given us, though we are unworthy. Do not shame us because of our sins, but help and save us. 
that you may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. Lord Jesus, stretch forth your right hand and bless your people. Protect them by your cross. Be their shelter and refuge, and perfect them with your abundant blessings, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your blessed Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God, to whom be glory forever. Amen. I leave you in peace, O Holy Altar, and, and I hope to return to you in peace. May the, the offering I have received from you be for the forgiveness of my faults and the remission of my sins, that I may stand without shame or fear before the throne of Christ. I do not know if I shall be able to return to you again to offer another sacrifice. I leave you in peace.